What's up, everybody? We're in the loud room. Can you tell? It's those. They're loud. Kids over here sleeping. I ain't gonna show him on film sleeping. He don't need to be seen sleeping. He's sleeping. Anyway, we're in the fish room. So enough with me spinning in circles and getting myself dizzy. I um, wanted to talk filters with you guys today, so let's talk about them. We've got filters in every tank, obviously. Some DIYs, some hang on backs, some sponge filters. You guys know I'm crazy about sponge filters, so I guess we'll start with those. Let's start with sponge filters and then uh, we'll do a little series on filters because. Lord knows I've got every kind you can get. Except for a canister, I got rid of mine. Didn't like them. But, uh, alright, here we go. Turn around and look at some sponge filters. Turn around. Oh, wait, that's me. I'll, I'll turn it around. Look how pretty. <laughs> I love that red striped earth eater. Geophagus, something with an S. This is, no, 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 no. All these guys are going to the 240 soon. Just getting her set up. Alright, so let's talk sponge filters. Uh, most people don't like sponge filters because they're hard to conceal. Uh, as you guys can see here, uh, I've got this one kind of buried behind a rock. All you see is the tip. I could bury it more, um, hide it a little bit more. Now, I run two diff or three different filters on this tank, but the main reason I run that one right there is so, uh, you guys see that internal filter right there? If I ever take that filter out and clean it, I've always got cycled, uh, a cycled filter in my tank. I only clean these filters maybe, maybe, maybe uh, once every six months. Um, and I'm about to show you some other ones that have some life growing on them which I love too, so anyway, um, there's that one. And then I have an internal filter, so the internal filter is real simple because I just take up that box, clean it out, reattach it, boom, done. And then you see I have a two coming out of here, uh, power head, that's the AquaClear power head, the AquaClear 70, comes all the way up and out into my DIY sump. Uh, over tank sump, I have videos on how I built this. Pack full of media. Uh, this is actually the media I'm going to be using in the 240 when I get it up and going. And I'll just be running the internal filter and the uh, sponge filter. Let's go in here. Alright, you guys see this monstrosity right here, right? Alright, this sponge filter right here is uh, rated at give you an idea that fish right there is like an inch and a quarter long maybe an inch and a half <laughs> there's the filter so I'm going to be running this filter in the uh, 240 I'm gonna run it in the sump along with the media that's in there uh, same concept I just want something cycled uh, that I'm gonna put in there uh, just to help with filtration uh, I did a video on this one here this is rated for hundred and twenty five gallons I believe but I have other um, other types I guess of, of air filters that I use in here I've got my DIY project one of them that I use there I've got this little Chinese box looking thing and I'll show you uh, what it looks like when it's actually the whole thing instead of just that and the shell dwellers you want to say hi yeah look how pretty oh, I love these fish they're just so awesome so great, you got fry running around in there. Pretty cool. All right, we're talking sponge filters though. So I've got this giant that's going in the uh, 240. Now we're gonna drop to the tank below it. Okay, now this tank is partitioned, okay? This uh, this is a 30 long. I have this in the center separating these two sides. This side over here is covered, as you can see. I uh, have Geophagus brasiliensis in here. And then I've got this sponge filter. Now. I let the algae grow all over this thing and the reason that I do just helps with nitrates nitrites and then I've got some fry in here somewhere I guess maybe not parents ate it ate them hope not oh no there's some over there 
You guys can see the frying going around. I don't know, there's probably, I'm guessing there was like 30 in here a couple of days ago. But uh, that's all algae on the bottom and the substrate, and I'm going to leave that there. These guys up here will actually just take that and, you know, turn the substrate around. It's just sand. And then in here, we've got a Jack Dempsey who's, she's hiding over there. And you see another sponge filter. Um, now, this sponge filter you can see is a little less established, I guess you could say. Um, it's the same light that goes to both these tanks. It runs the exact uh, same amount of time, but just being one fish in here and then two fish in there, there's a load difference. I mean, there's a difference in the two. And then, um, all right, so I also run a sponge filter in Cujo's tank, hides back there. And then I run a hang back filter on this tank as well. And we'll get into that uh, once I get everything torn, torn apart. And then back here, I've got a DIY sponge filter. This one I did myself, you guys can see. And then uh, I've got another error type filter in there, but I don't have it running. Uh, it's just sitting in there right now. Um, I, I do have media in it, so if I ever want to take and, you know, get another 10 gallon running, all I have to do is just pop that out, pop it in another tank, and I'm ready to go. This is the Geophagus Brasiliensis Fry. So these guys here, biggest one is about an inch now, and you just saw the mom and dad of these. Um, they don't get too, too big. Um, the ones I've got are, you know, almost full grown. They're like four inches, four and a half inches. So there's that. I don't run a sponge filter on these. I'm gonna get into these flu bowls, what I like, what I don't like soon. All right, so I've got another another sponge filter in here. Uh, most of the sponge filters that I run are uh, Bacto Spur, uh, Bacto. Oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, I just my mind went blank. Uh, Bacto Surge uh, filters, sponge filters, and uh, you guys can see there. I've got Java moss growing on it. A little bit of uh, algae, but the uh, cherry shrimp keep it clean for me this tank is empty except for some snails and that one there is the you know what it actually supposed to look like of the one that i just showed you here in the shell dweller tank so when i got them in one was broken so i said forget it and i just threw it in there whatever <laughs> and uh soon i'll be adding a uh, sponge filter to this tank. Uh, I've got a little hang on back on there and I hate it. It's just not uh, Doesn't run well, I guess you could say just not crazy about it. So that sponge uh, I'll be adding a sponge filter to this one as well as the uh, Molly and Platy tank All right, so let's really get into a sponge filter now um, Let's take this one for example This is the only filtration I run on this tank other than the plants obviously right because <laughs> we're gonna run plants and uh, as far as the bio load on this tank it's pretty heavy I mean I've got over a hundred guppies in here uh, a bunch of cherry shrimp which aren't too bad and then um, here's one in there um, and then I've also got a uh, a clown pocostomus in here I'll shoot it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll load a picture in here after the video is over. So if you want to stay tuned, check him out. Um, but I took a picture of him recently. Look at that female. Oh, come on, focus. Uh, focus. <laughs> it's not going to focus. Let's see. Nice big female there. Um, I did a whole video on uh, cherry shrimp if you guys want to know what I know about them. Alright, so let's talk about cleaning these things. Uh, like I said, I clean them like every six months. Um, all I do is take it out uh, by it detaching the airline, uh, the plastic tubing on the top, um, take it out, and when you clean these, just take it out, grab it, and knock it against the sink or you know a wall or whatever you're using to clean it out, just knock it against that. When you're doing your water change, um, 
is not the best time to clean this unless you're doing a water change like on a different tank um, and then you can just take that and kind of rinse it out with the water that's coming out of a different tank not the same tank a different tank um, because you don't want to kill the bacteria in there especially if it's on your only filtration all right so I clean my hang on backs my interior uh, filters all that stuff um, all the time so I don't want to take my sponge filters out because that's going to be uh, what's going to cultivate the bacteria in those tanks for me while the bacteria rebuilds in my other ones so whew, like I said on this tank right here it's the only filter that I run other than the plants um, the plants are going to help you with nitrites uh, nitrates uh, as well as some ammonia I mean they, that's what they feed on and uh, so anyway as far as cleaning these pretty simple maintenance is super easy you guys can see um, I haven't hidden this one usually I take that one and it hides back here behind this plant uh, this java fern that I've got here but in this case I just threw it in there because I got I wanted you guys to be able to see it um, so sponge filters I mean they're, they're great let them go let them grow um, they're not going to clear up your tank they're not going to make it you know crystal clear in this tank it's crystal clear because I'm using the plants in it um, to get rid of a lot of stuff and you guys can see I've got a lot of different floating plants in this thing I mean everything that I put in here is just a nitrate killer everything has a has a purpose has a reason um, the reason that I don't run a hang on back on there is pretty obvious <laughs> can't really run a hang on back filter when you've got floating plants um, because if you do it's just gonna suck them into the filter and they're not gonna work it's real simple so anyway guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed Bacto Surge uh, sponge filters. I'm not saying this is the brand you have to use, it's the one that I prefer. I love them. Uh, super easy maintenance. Uh, just gotta find a way to hide them. That's the main thing. How to hide the sponge filter. Other than that, uh, simple, simple to use, easy to care for. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching. We'll talk to y'all later. Peace. You wanna say bye? You wanna say bye? He told me, he's like, yo, I want to say bye today. Look. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. All right, say bye. All right, anyway. All right, guys, check us out on uh, Psychotic Aquatics YouTube on Facebook. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the red button right there. We'll talk to you all later. Peace out.